afternoon, Toronto police remain on the scene this noon hour. They're trying to piece together the disturbing series of events that led to the loss of a young life last night. CTV's Janice Golding joins us live from Dundalk Drive near Kennedy and the 401. Janice. Hi, Nathan. Yes, a young girl is dead and a young boy is in police custody after a stabbing here at a Scarborough high rise that has completely shocked area residents. Now, police say they were called to the area at around 6.30 last night. A call of unknown trouble at an apartment in the area of Dundalk in Antrim near Kennedy and the 401. When they got here, officers found a 12-year-old girl with severe injuries and despite life-saving efforts, she was pronounced dead at the scene. Another young person was also found injured at the scene, but has since been released from hospital and arrested. The building superintendent, Amy Lee, says last night she received a call from a woman on the eighth floor because she was concerned for her daughter's safety. Lee says she went to the unit but didn't have the key, and when she went outside, she saw a young boy who she believes to be around 10 years old hanging off the balcony. Yeah, I get the calling, and then... Um the resident say, okay, I need help, I need help, Amy, I need help. So that's why I just I after that I run run to the uni and then but the door is is closed. But I hear inside the, the noise inside. And then at the same time I, I don't have the key. So I go down, go down, get the get the uni key. At the same time I from from out from the west side of the main entrance. Okay, to outside. And then I see one boy in the old, uh, sitting in the uh, outside of the balcony there. So he was dangling from the balcony? Yeah, yeah. It both hands, both hands, like it there. Certainly anybody in this area who uh, heard or saw anything uh, out of the ordinary uh, would be very helpful for us to hear from you. So I'd encourage you to reach out to uh, 41 Division or the Homicide and Missing Persons Unit uh, to let us know that you heard and or saw something. Uh, strange and we will get in contact with you. Now, police say they cannot disclose the relationship between the young girl and the boy in custody. However, Lee says that the boy is the victim's brother. He has been charged with second-degree murder. Reporting live from Janice Golding, now back to Nathan. All right, thank you, Janice.